Star projectors Pray into the ceiling God can help us Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm here today with another video and I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. I wanted to get to you guys yesterday, but I told y'all I got bit by a wasp. Listen to me. So we back outside, y'all. We, we outside today. Yup, the devil thought he was doing something. I said, nope, we outside today. So I finally finished my hair. Y'all gotta tell me if I like it, but... I'm just excited that I finally got something out of my way. It's lightweight and it's just regular. So how are you guys doing today? Comment down below. Check in. You guys know what we do. Since I'm present, I'm present for class. I'm ready for the word today. Greet one another. We are a family. We are a tribe. I would like to take a second and thank all of my moderating sisters. I love and appreciate you guys so much. To everybody that's been so into God's vision here on this channel. I love you guys so much. We are on the road to 50,000 angels and I'm so excited. You guys are the best community on YouTube, period. Okay? This community is just full of love and support, just full of like lessons and strength. This, this this group. So I'm so grateful that God brought us together as a community, as a tribe. I need your help. I cannot grow without you guys. So thank you for thumbsing up the videos, liking, sharing it. Share it with one person that you feel like this person is growing. They need to hear a word from God and they will love to hear this, right? Share the videos out and continue to do what you guys have been doing. I appreciate it so much. So I'm really excited to get into this word today. Let's take a second and invite the holy spirit in because you guys know that we do nothing here without god so dear heavenly father i just want to thank you and praise you for your mercy your grace and your protection lord i want to thank you for everything it is that you do for us lord i ask that you lead and guide this video today father whatever it is that you want me to speak to your people use me today father in the name of jesus i pray amen comment down below amen so i know it's real okay family get your bibles you guys know i got my bible right i got my bible comment down below since i got my bible so you know it's real never thought i would say this but i love my bible I really love my Bible. Like, it has become my best friend, y'all. Okay, so let's just get into it. So, literally, okay, I was telling y'all a couple days ago, I felt this move in the spirit. Y'all got to go back and check on the community page. I felt this move in the spirit, and I said something is going on supernaturally. So, I got to dive into that with y'all, right? And then the devil been so busy. It's been so much spiritual warfare. I'm telling y'all. And then the day before yesterday, a wasp flew in my house, and I killed it in my room. And then yesterday, I'm sitting there holding the front gate open to let Messiah inside our front gate so i'm holding the gate open so he can come in and literally a wasp stung me okay y'all and i said you know what i'm about to put this book six feet under right now so literally the kids is screaming and hollering after it stung me i'm like you devil i'm going off i'm going all crazy so then my son said mom it's in here so all the kids are screaming so i'm like running around with the shoe i'm busting the walls up bop 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 <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, okay? It is getting so real in the field. Do you guys hear me? So the Holy Spirit is definitely in the room. Can you guys feel it? As soon as I said that, y'all, the door cracked open. I'm so, I'm so done. <laughs> I'm so done with this door, y'all. Because y'all know, yo. As soon as I said, I said, the Holy Spirit is up in the room. I said, can y'all feel that? The Holy Spirit is up in here. The door opened and closed. Y'all know that door be acting funny. You know what I'm saying? But listen, why? Listen, y'all, this is a rhema word. This is a right now word from God. Okay, listen to me. God told me to title this message today. This is big. Assume your position. So I believe God sent me here to tell you guys today that everything is about to change. Glory be to God. God is seeing everything new. I'm so excited. I was going to dive right into the prophetic word right then and there. I said, you know what? The Holy Spirit said, Alicia Pauls, right? I'm going to lead this with the scripture. Let's go into the scripture of the day. This, this is what God gave me today. We're going to be taking a look at Isaiah 66. So get your Bibles, family. And for the ones who got your Bible apps on your phone, that's fine. The Holy Spirit comes first just slide me to the back and get this word okay y'all so i got this scripture y'all come on we need to read this together as a family this is what the lord says i will give jerusalem a river of peace and prosperity the wealth of the nations will flow to her her children will be nursed at her breast carried in her arms and held on her lap i will comfort you there in jerusalem as a mother comforts her child when you see these things your heart will rejoice you will flourish like the grass. Everyone will see the Lord's hand of blessing on his servants and his anger against his enemies. See, the Lord is coming with fire and his swift chariots roar like a whirlwind. He will bring punishment with the fury of his anger and the flaming fire of his hot rebuke. The Lord will punish the world by fire and by his sword. And he will judge the earth and many will be killed. Glory be to God and God bless the word today. And as you guys can see, God has really been up to something, right? And literally, I've been having so many prophetic dreams. And I want to share this dream that I had with you guys last night. Because over the last four days, my dreams have been 
okay? So last night, y'all, I literally have this dream of judgment. In the dream, a series of tragic events begin to happen. It was terrible, okay? It was literally tragedy after tragedy. And I can remember looking at some of these people, and I was thinking it's sad how these people were dying. And it almost felt like they didn't deserve it. And I heard this nudge in my spirit say, or do they? Glory be to God. And it made me realize in that moment that God was saying that I see and I know all. For us, outside looking in, tragedy is never good. But what's the force behind it? <laughs> Somebody's blowing bubbles and they're literally coming up here right now. God is so cool. Like, ah, this is amazing. And see, this is what God is saying. Is it the hand of God or is it an act of Satan? That's not for me to answer, but I will say that I know that God can stop. He can save. He can. He, God can do whatever it is that he wants to do. So God is like, if I allowed this thing to happen, it was for a reason. So in the dream, God just kept speaking in my spirit judgment judgment y'all it looked like a total wipeout terrible things was happening listen it was like an entire family just gone in a fire right it was just tragic it was like what not the entire family i know this pit bull pup ain't playing today <laughs> welcome to my world y'all uh, follow me y'all so in the dream a lot of young people was dying y'all of health conditions people was dro dropping dead literally heart attacks it was it was mind blowing for the people who made anything or anyone their God, which means you gave this thing first priority over God and refused to acknowledge him. God is bringing all of that down. God is like they will lose everything, everything that they worked so hard for. God showed me businesses, cars, houses, families, listen, big losing. OK, so also in the dream, I kept hearing state of emergency. Yo, and I strongly believe that God is preparing us for something. And in this dream, I could see a bunch of officers. It was like a riot force. Right. And, and they were suited up with guns let me see if i can explain this thing to you guys to me they, they were controlling areas right there were certain areas that they had control over so i can remember in the dream i was trying to leave so in the spirit somebody in my family was in trouble which i'm not going to mention their names but i definitely covered them with the blood of jesus so i was leaving i was on my way to try to help them and the patrolling officer said that I could not leave that development. And they wanted to check my things to see what I had. So whatever was going on, we wasn't allowed to have certain items at this point. It felt like to me, everything was on lockdown and being monitored. I feel like the world was in a panic. But in a dream, I could remember I was in this place of peace. I was really settled in my spirit. I felt like I already expected this. So I was kind of just watching things happen. I was more so mind blown, right? Like, you, you know that feeling that you have when you have deja vu? Like, you knew you've seen this before and then that moment came, right? Or sometimes this happens when God will give you a vision, a prophetic vision or something. And then he will show it to you one time. And then when he brings it back to you, it feels like, wow, the vision is coming together. The pieces are starting to make sense, right? Th this is what I was feeling. I knew that this dream was a clear message that God is establishing his kingdom as we speak. And God is saying today that many are being raised up and many are being brought down. And see the way God showed it to me it's like there's so many evil people that is in positions of authority right they're laid up in positions that's laid up for the righteous this change is actually taking place now and so god is saying today assume your position somebody comment down below assume your position and so god showed me a vision of people moving into formation like in football which i know nothing about but I got to give you guys what God give me. But it seems like everyone gets into formations and into their positions, right? They're like shifted into formation to execute some type of play against the opposition. Glory be to God. Comment down below if that makes sense to you guys. And God is saying today, this is the army of the Lord being formed. Listen to me. Somebody is about to get in the game and they are about to play big if this is your word today. This is not only a word of judgment. This is a word of promises and comfort for the faithful ones. God is gathering his people in this season. So I felt a spiritual shift of nights ago i posted it on the community page a lot of you guys are commenting on it was like sis i felt it too i felt the shift i was up midnight god woke me up i was praying in the spirit you guys are real in the field right you guys are sending me all these messages saying i felt it right like i went to sleep one way and then i woke up and things just felt different right it was like i went to sleep and woke up in a totally new reality y'all listen to me did y'all did y'all notice how that lighting just changed like god just changed the sunlight god god is so amazing catch this word i was just about to say to you guys the atmosphere changed listen because i was looking around in my room i said everything looks the same but god told me right in that moment it was different right and, and i felt it i felt that in my spirit and if i had to describe it to you guys i would say it felt like a spiritual veil was lifted and so a veil is whatever covers your eyes from seeing god it keeps you from knowing god and experiencing his power and his presence and god was telling me that this veil was a representation of your separation from god that something was coming against your view of the spirit and your relationship with god so god is like it's being brought down i feel a coming season of kingdom completion and order god is saying today that he is upgrading and shifting you into kingly things 
there will be a new Jerusalem where God will rule and reign. Glory be to God. And God just kept putting this message in my spirit. God said, I'm going to rule and reign with my government. And see, this is amazing. This is amazing because what God is saying today is that there is a position and placement for you. When Jesus comes back to rule and reign, I hype. this word gives me a hype. And God is saying today that you have been chosen, right? And that you are sealed. This is a rhema word. This is a right now word. This word confirms that God is still in control. God is still ruling and reigning despite everything it is that you see. If this is your word today, God is saying that a shifting is happening. And so this is a cause to get into formation. Now is the time to use the authority that was given to us. This is the season of divine authority and to step into your place within the kingdom of God. Can somebody comment down below everything new? Glory be to God. I want to dive into some direct prophetic messages. Like, I'm just going to go right in with the words, right? Glory be to God. If this is your word today, I want you to comment down below. Since this is my word today, you want a song. Glory be to God. Holy Spirit, move. God is saying today, assume your positions. Glory be to God. I am creating a path before you, a clear path. Glory be to God. For some of you guys, it's going to feel like a second chance. And God is saying today that this thing is going to be big. Glory be to God. God kept showing me new chapter, right? I kept seeing chapter one. And God is saying today, brand new. God is preparing you for where he's about to take you. If this is your word today, God is bringing things in alignment right now. Feel led to say rest in God and God is going to be using where you've been to establish where you are going. This season will take strength, endurance, faith, and obedience. All that pain that you have been going through is going to push you into greatness. Glory be to God. God is going to be using this pain as your power. If this is your word today, you may not know where you are going, but you better not go back. God is clearing the way. This is a right now word. Receive this word if this is your word today. You are walking into a season of resilience, determination, and perseverance. Sometimes you might feel alone in difficult situations. Glory be to God right in the middle of these things. But the reality is, is that God is with you. And God is saying that he is bringing those things down that has been holding you down. All those strongholds must come down. Do not sleep on the messages that God is sending you in this season because God is saying that he's placing you in a spot of leadership. But God is saying today, I made you differently. You are being promoted. See, what you didn't realize is that everything that you was going through, it was preparing you for this moment right now. I feel led like to say that you have been molded and built for this. Glory be to God. And and God was enlightening me on the scripture he took us to today, right? God took us to Isaiah 66, right? And I had no idea that God was going to confirm this word in this way, right? Because God had enlightened me on the fact that this chapter was delivered after the temple in Jerusalem had been rebuilt following the Jewish people's return from exile. Glory be to God. The book of Isaiah concludes with the promise of comfort for the faithful in a new heaven and a new earth in destruction for the wicked in a fire that shall not be quenched. Glory be to God. God is warning us of the consequences of neglecting him. God is about to reward the ones that has been faithful to him. Glory be to God. I love you guys so much. Comment down below. Says, this is my word today. If this is your word, thank you guys for all the love and support. If you have not gotten your holy anointed oils yet, go down below in the description. Uh, you'll see the link. Go over it. Get your holy oil. Super chat family, I love and appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for so into God's vision here on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video family. I love you guys so much. I'm praying for you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, angels. Mwah.